Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanolades at Dawn. I remain your host, Chad of Fury 333, and this next match is going to be between Hellwar and North Chilean G. Oh, for crying out loud, did I miss that entirely? That's not you. Click the wrong thing. Alright, sorry about that. It's really strange. Anyway, yeah, so, welcome back. I remain Chad of Fury 333. We are back with a game between Hellwar and North Chilean G. And it's on Valis Metanatus, the biggest bot map in the game. I'm not kidding, this map is pretty much always played bots. North Chilean G going for Cloaky, Hellwar going for Spiders. But yeah, because of the way the map is kind of hilly, you don't often see vehicles. You sometimes do, but not often. So yeah, this is not unexpected. Conjurer coming out from North Chilean G right off the bat into Gremlin, so it looks like we're going to see Gremlin scouting. That seems most likely. Going to walk into Cloak Gremlin, try to get through Hellwar. Hellwar, on the other hand, going for 15 Fleas right off the bat. Well, a Weaver and then 15 Fleas. So loads of scouting. I mean, on a map this size, it makes a lot of sense to build up your worker first. Because you're not going to get harassed that much. So you, you have a bit of time to set up your early military before your opponent's going to come in and try to deal with you. And of course, if your opponent's thinking the same thing, well, then you have even more time. So it works out pretty well. So right now, Hellwar is pretty much just... Are they setting up for an attack? Or No, they're, they're setting up a scout. If you see the way their fleas are going, all the different commands, they're just doing the flea map hack that's normal. And one of them's going to hit the gremlin. Just now hits the gremlin. So North Chilean G's little gremlin ruse has been exposed. Of course, the flea's trying to find it, and they find it again. Nice micro there by Hellwar. Guessing where that's going to be, and ends up finding that gremlin. Gets rid of it, so that early scouting from North Chilean G. Good idea, but against spiders, that is the basically the counter factory. That, that is the counter. That's how you get rid of it, is fleas, or screening in general. That's how you get rid of cloaked units. Flea screening is especially useful because the fleas themselves are cloaked when they're not moving. So at this point, Hellwar has pretty good vision. Not great vision, but they are going to be able to put themselves into nice positions to be able to see everything. Whereas North Chilean G has no idea what Hellwar's up to. North Chilean G has not gone across half the map yet. They are going for it. They're going to be going pushing Glaze in. And this is when Venoms are going to be necessary. There's a Venom. There's nothing else, though. Not just Venoms. There's other things that will be necessary. Venoms are one of them. Don't get me wrong. But that's not the only thing. It's... Venom Redback is probably the best option. But still, the Venom on its own is good. It's a good start. You do need that. Hellwar... Are they checking out? I guess they're checking out to see if... Sorry, North Chilean G checking out to see if Hellwar has expanded more aggressively than they have. At this point, Hellwar is actually ahead by a couple metal extractors. Having these Northern 2... While North Chilean G just getting theirs, and North Chilean G also getting all the ones in their main base as well. Setting that all up. Hmm. Anyway. That's... That's... Okay, the Venom stopping some attacks in. Glaive's coming in further south as well. Really, this is just scouting. This is not going to do any damage. Not likely. The one over here might, though. It's actually in a good angle. Oh, that's a really good angle. The Flea is too far away. If it goes over here, it should be able to hit a couple metal extractors first. Although, at this point, I think Hellwar's aware of it. Yeah, it's on radar. What the? That's weird. Okay, hopefully the particle system doesn't get screwed up. Apparently there's a particle system error that just happened. And hey, North Chilean G went for it. Unfortunately, that Venom had, or a Venom had already come up there. A new Venom, from the looks of it, had come up to deal with the Glaive. It was spotted on radar. North Chilean G was a little bit too slow in the draw when it came to pushing that Glaive in. They they went in, they hesitated, and Hellwar had time to build up their defenses. That's another Glaive down. So North Chilean G at least kind of has an idea of where Hellwar set up, what they're doing, how their economy's going. Some idea, some scouting, but Hellwar, they have the Fleas. Though many of them have been destroyed, but still, they have fleas. And North Chilean G with another Glaive coming in with actual useful harassment. At the same time, Hellwar coming in with a flea over to the north, so more useful harassment being done here. North Chilean G probably will be able to get in maybe one of these solar collectors down, actually. Well, not down completely, but at least closed up. 
What's really needed, of course, is to break them completely. What the heck? Oh, okay, that was a weird music system thing. Probably a switch from battle. Or to battle. Anyway, the point is, at this point, North Trillion G's harassment is not going to be able to do much. Hellwar accessing a little bit, too, so they've got to deal with that. Getting a couple caretakers up, that's not a bad option. But yeah, at this point, Hellwar is pretty safe, I'd say. They're pretty far ahead. Pretty comfortable. North Trillion G continuing to go for the strong harassment. Hellwar on defense, but with a strong economy, so really, they haven't got any problems. Hellwar has basically lost, like, one metal extractor, which does need to be rebuilt, mind you. That needs to be rebuilt pretty quickly. But Hellwar is still expanding around, and they do have an economic advantage. It's not the most urgent thing, but they still should be. North Trillian G, however, just needs to be expanding. I mean, they've been dealing with fleas, and as a result, it looks like their main base is a bit better defended, but they also have not been able to freely expand. I mean, that's the thing. We saw in the last game, fleas are really good at discouraging workers from getting around, because if the workers are alone, the fleas can wipe them out. At least two or three fleas. One, the worker will usually survive long enough to build up a lotus, or even a defender. But more than that, then yeah, the workers tend to die pretty quick. And that's what you want, because then the fleas can just stop any expansion, and also make it really prohibitive to try to go for expansions, because then you have to send in a bunch of defenders along with the expansion attempt, and that just makes it more expensive and take longer. And why is North Chilean G leaving these idle? I don't know. But that's going to cost them. Seriously, why are they leaving them idle? Oh! Oh, I see. They... They needed to have it paused. Apparently they got either disconnected or just their ping screwed up, but yeah, that, that sucks. Still looks like the managed, Horde North Trillian G managed to get a bit of harassment in and got to scythe as well, so that at least even things out almost, starting to. It's at least keeping Hell War from expanding completely unimpeded, but at this point, North Trillian G has not yet expanded to the south, has not expanded to the north. There's a lot that's missing. Like, there's a lot of this map that North Trillian G needs to take, because Hell War has a massive economic advantage and it's not going away anytime soon. So I don't really see what North Chilean G has planned, because they are not going for expansions. They, they really need that money. I don't know why, what they're waiting for. They're clearly expecting air to come up sometime soon. Okay, where are the Conjurers? Okay, there's loads of Conjurers. Okay, now they're finally building up expansions. But yeah, I think they're... I think North Chilean G is very concerned about the North and South. And I don't know why they are concerned about it, because they can pretty easily get... like. They can throw in a glaive or two with the Conjurers, and that'll solve the problem. But I think North Chilean G is so focused on harassment, and forgetting the fact that North and South is work. Anyway. Looks like Hell War is now set up. See, this is the thing with the defenses that... Hellwar has had an economic advantage, even without the production for it. Oh, why is Hellwar not producing? What the heck? Hellwar, build stuff. I don't see any factories being built up. I don't see any units being built up. Not sure what's going on there. Not what you want to do, though. I mean, clearly they're building up their commander, but no, that's not enough. At any rate, Hellwar, now with their army set up, and basically an anti-glaive army, too. Not sure if the numbers are enough, but it looks like, yes, they are. Some of the glaives just being stunned out, and that's it. I mean, they will be cleaned up eventually, but that's a massive blow to North Chilean G. North Chilean G still going for the Glaives. I mean, that makes sense. It's kind of hard in this map to do anything other than Glaive, because this map is so large that anything else is too slow. But as we can see, it doesn't really matter. Like, Hell Wars Army, yeah, it's slow, but it's doing a pretty good job here. I mean, it's exactly the right thing to counter everything North Chilean G's throwing out. This is not going well for North Chilean G at all. Hell Wars... Doing awesome. They have half the map so far. North Chilean G's just now gotten the... Or just now starting to get the south. Getting the north as well. Starting to. But they did not expand anywhere near as much as they needed to. And Hellwar... Even with this production, they still need more production on here. Probably getting another factory would be in order. I mean, at this point, they might as well. But getting more... Anything. Any kind of production would help. 60... Heck, they could get a Strider Hub at this point and win. Like, seriously, that's a lot of metal income right now. 
Finally, at great cost, North Chilean G deflects Hellwar's army, but that's at great cost, and Hellwar taking half the map in the process. It's not super well defended, but it's still taken. How many weavers are there, anyway? Wow, weavers all the way around the map. One in the center, over the side, one in the main base, helping out, building a gunship plant. There we go, there's that second factory I was wondering about. So we're getting that built up, at least. And then, beyond that, I don't know, it looks like... One more attack coming in here from North Chilean G. I mean, the south side wasn't the best defended, so this is not a bad idea. It's worked out okay, but I think it's going to get stopped pretty quickly. The Lotuses will fall, dealing damage to some of the Glaives, getting rid of a few of them. Afterwards, it's really going to come down to defense placement. Oh, why are they going for Banshees? I mean, I can kind of see Banshees are a great harassment tool, but I feel like Hellwar should go for Rapiers. I should not feel like Hellwar should go for Rapiers. Dealing with Glaives... Rapiers are a great option. I mean, granted, the Gremlins are there and they don't deal with Banshees super well, so there's that. But, yeah, for dealing with Glaives, Banshees are okay. But, Rapiers basically one-shot Glaives. I think it actually is a one-shot. Not totally sure, but it, seem, it feels like a one-shot every time it happens. Yeah, it is actually. It is in fact a one-shot. 200 damage and Glaives have 200 health each, so Rapiers are awesome against Glaives. And 10 Gremlins. I mean, North Chilean G has been preparing for Air Switch for the entire game. So there's there's actually a decent amount of preparation against Hell Wars Switch here, but I think Hell Wars probably going to be able to simply outpace it or outmoney it. This is one of the reasons I was pointing out, though, maybe Strider Hub would be a better option. But Air Switch is so typical that Hell Wars is just going to go for it, because that's what you do. Oh, Orphelia's pointing out that Banshee's speed is probably what Hellwar has in mind. They want to complement the slow spider army with a fast Banshee army or a fast Banshee flanking force. That makes sense. Yeah, I can totally understand that. I... I still feel like it's... I mean, it's not a terrible option. I still think it's a good option. It's just that against the Glaives, Rapiers... Uh, Gla Glaives, specifically the Rapiers, are a really good option. But the Glaives are also kind of being dealt with. And Rapiers are also fairly quick, so it would be fine. Against Rockos, wouldn't really matter. Against Gremlins, Banshees are the better option. Gremlins, I mentioned before, take about three seconds for three of them to kill one Banshee. And that was a group of about a dozen. Like right here, yeah, there's a dozen Banshees over to the north. Ten Gremlins will not deal with it. I mean, granted, ten Gremlins is 1,500 metal compared to... 50, well, this is 12 Banshees right here, so that's... About 2,700 metal worth. But even then, it doesn't really matter. Hellwar, upon seeing the Banshees throws in the towel... Sorry. North Chilean G upon seeing the Banshees throws in the towel. What am I saying? Hellwar saw those Banshees from the start. It was theirs. Hellwar takes that game. That really came down to... North Chilean G did not build up enough. They were really focused on harassment and couldn't get through the counterforce. And I understand why, kind of, because this map is large. It's hard to build anything other than Glaives. And I'm a bit surprised North Chilean G did not just switch over to gunships themselves. Because, I mean, that's a really powerful option. Granted, Banshees wouldn't be a good option because the Redbacks would deal with them trivially. But, at the same time, the harassment would actually be a lot more effective. And now, Hellwar would be forced to go for a mixed anti-ground, anti-air force, leaving the Glaives a bit more of an opening. If North Chilean G wanted to switch back to that. So anyway, that was that. I've got to say, though, a lot of it came down to economy. It really... I get fleas are kind of scary, but that's... That can be dealt with pretty easily. Keep a glaive or something with your army. That that works fine. Yeah, as we can see, Hellwar was always ahead, but really took off in the mid-game, and North Chilean G never caught up. Hellwar's success was massive, but even then, as we can see, that, that doesn't make a difference. There's still almost a 10k metal used difference. Let alone metal produced. And metal produced doesn't matter. Metal used is the important thing. Unit's value is relatively close, though. Surprisingly. Despite the lack of metal... It's just... Metal value is relatively close, but that was probably because Hellwar spent a lot of money building up their economy to get more money. Whereas North Chilean G was focusing everything on building their army in order to try to harass, take out Hellwar's expansions, take out Hellwar's economy, and then win that way. So anyway, that was that was that. We have one last game, Gaiop and Anir on Conquest of Paradise. That'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.